23 year old Ty Pullman is still throwing the heat. You know, a lot of times they can't make good contact because they're expecting it to drop. I first met Ty when he was 11. A diehard fan of the team that won the World Series. He watched that magical game seven on a VHS tape over and over and over. He started playing baseball competitively when he was two. One of the first words he said, Gonzo. <laughs> it's why for the 10th anniversary of the World Series victory, we surprised Ty with a visit with his favorite player. What happened tells you all you need to know about how a ball player can make an impact. <laughs> Ty, how you doing, man? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah. Surprise you? Uh, <laughs> a little bit? Yeah. All right, all right. It's okay to cry in baseball. We're all right. We've all cried before. How did you like when you hit the blooper? Come on, that was a line drive. You're a baseball player. You know better than that. <laughs> but what was that like seeing that moment again? First thing I noticed, my voice is a little higher than I yeah. remember it. So. <laughs> Ty went on to pitch at Perry High School, then UNLV, and he just signed a second contract with the Billings, Montana Mustangs in the Pioneer League. Swing and a miss. It almost kind of feels like a, like I like stole some money because it just it doesn't feel like work and it doesn't feel like anything. You kind of show up to the field every day, you know, kind of just try not to take it for granted. I remember one thing that Luis Gonzalez told you when you guys met is he said, whatever you do. As long as you feel like you can make a difference doing something and helping people out. I, I've heard a lot like people are going to maybe not remember the stats you have, but remember how good of a teammate you were. At the end of your life, you're going to be more, you know, you're going to be a person longer than you're going to be a baseball player. Ty watched the D-backs beat the Phillies last week, ecstatic like the rest of us, but he watches games differently today. It was a little interesting for you because you're watching them beat the Phillies and you know a couple of the Phillies players yeah. having worked out with them. I was in here with Brandon Marsh and Matt Strom, seeing those guys on TV play against the team that you kind of watched growing up your whole life playing, so it was kind of like torn. He may root for other players, but make no mistake, Ty is all in for his D-backs was seeing that you know they weren't doing so good in July and they were maybe kind of kind of fall off and you know all, all the the first few playoff games were like wow they're really doing it and it's kind of crazy and but it's awesome who knows maybe someday this fan will be the one making memories for others it's interesting because you know every major leaguer tells a kid hey when you get the big leagues you know I'll be rooting for you when you get to the big leagues then you could send me the copy and then I'll have you sign it for <laughs> You're actually in the pros working towards a goal, and it's possible. Yeah, you know, in the back of everyone's mind, it's kind of, you want to get there. And I think in the end, it's, it's truly about the process and about kind of the relationships you make, and you take it one step at a time. Joe Dana, 12 News.